Hello, everybody, this is Double Pulse, and holy shit, I have nothing against jailbroken iPhones. If you want to jailbreak your iPhone, your tablet, feel free, be your guest. In fact, I've done it in the past. Um, but I've always reverted back to the standard OS and remained on jailbroken just because of the performance on my device has been kind of subpar. I've downloaded tweaks and all this other shit. But this news right here that I've just ran across on uh, RSEC Technia or whatever it is uh, made me just realize that I'm glad I am not jailbroken anymore because my chance of installing this probably would have been kind of high. Let me get on to it. Malware infecting jailbroken iPhones stole over 225,000 Apple account logins. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> And this happened to, this was done like last night, this article was posted last night. A newly discovered malware family has preyed on jailbroken iPhones, has collected login credentials for more than 225,000 Apple accounts, making it one of the largest Apple account compromises to be caused by malware. Key Raider, as the malware family has been dubbed, is, a, is distributed through a third-party repository to of Cydia, which markets itself as an alternative to Apple's official App Store. <laughs> a malicious code surreptitiously included with the Cydia apps is creating programs for pe er, is creating problems for people in China and at least 17 other countries, including France, Russia, Japan. And the UK. Not only is it pilfered account data for 225,941 Apple accounts, it has also disabled some infected phones until users pay a ransom. And it has made unauthorized charges against some victims' account. Holy shit. So there's no real, like, di like uh, data that's talking about the US, but I'm, I'm sure that the US probably has uh, something to do deal with it but yeah the uh, first thing I want to bring up is mark mocking it up to be the Apple's App Store one of the reasons a lot of people we all know uh, people want to jailbreak aside from getting tweaks is to get pirated games and pirated software like people want to get free games and all this other shit the fact that they use that target, a lot of people are probably going to fall victim towards it. And especially uh, in places like China where they may not have all the same apps, the same games that they want to download. Hell, I've seen some ways or uh, some apps where you can download a, a secondary app store. Even on non-jailbroken devices, you can download free games. So it's really not that hard. But let me con let me continue. So after it is stolen the accounts and thousands of certificates, private key data, and purchasing receipts, uh, it is uploaded the stolen data to Command Control, which is their server. It, it contains vulnerabilities that exposes users' information. The purpose of this attack was to make it possible for users of two iOS jailbreak tweaks to download applications um, from the official app store and make in-app purchases without actually paying. So, yeah, okay, I see it. Jailbreak tweaks are software packages that allow users to perform actions that aren't typically possible on iOS. These t two tweaks will hijack the app purchase requests, download stolen accounts, or purchase receipts from the C2 server and then emulate the iTunes protocol to log into Apple's server and purchase apps or other items requested by users. The tweaks have been downloaded over 20,000 times, which suggests around 20,000 users are abusing the 225,000 stolen creden credentials. Holy shit. Some victims have reported that they're... Stolen Apple accounts show abnormal app purchasing history. Others state that their phones have been held for ransom. As the theft of Apple account 
credentials wasn't bad enough. The data was uploaded to a website that contained a SQL injection vulnerability, a flaw that made it trivial for outsiders to gain access to some of their records. Most of the email addresses affected usage is the way that the Chinese or possibly Chinese people are living in other countries. So, yeah, there's some code. Uh, the Key Raider Discovery provides a cautionary tale about the risk of jailbreaking iPhones. Most security experts discourage the practice unless it is done by highly experienced people who know exactly what code they're using to circumvent Apple's engineers' safeguards. And once that is done, the alternate apps they will be installing. So, yeah, uh, it's a complete mess. And... To make things clear, I have nothing against jailbreaking. I've jailbroke device before. I just want to make that clear again. But be careful what you guys install. And most of the time it is common sense. It's just downloading the wrong... It's just downloading the appropriate repositories or, you know, playing it safe. Because now that your phone or your tablet is unlocked... And it's bypassed its security. It's. You have free reign. You know you have complete free reign over your tablet. But it's you know you're like oh well fuck. It's like being locked in a jail. It's like okay it's like let me let me think about this. It's like non being non jailbroken is like being locked in a jail cell. Or being locked in a secluded area. And then jailbreaking starts breaking down the walls. And letting, possibly letting cockroaches in. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's a bad analogy, but just be careful, people. There's really not much else to say on this article. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a comment and consider subscribing for more content in the future. And I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.